Hi guys, so I am just getting ready for the day. It's a Saturday. It's so super windy outside. Last night, I was driving home from my brother's house because I babysat my niece for them again. And it was so windy. I'm telling you, I was terrified driving home. That dark, one of the highways was shut down. Uh oh, It just, it was not my thing. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, I'm getting ready again for the day. And I'm actually looking for my tripod so that I can do my makeup and like chit chat. Found it. Of course, I'll show you my outfit so you can see. I've got Golden Girls on, I've got some black jeans. I'll show you how I'm going to finish this look up because it is windy and it got cold again. Um, so I'm going to throw on like a jean jacket and some Converse. Okay, so. Yesterday, I washed my hair, so this is second day hair, and it's already looking awful. And I try, like, not to touch my hair as much as possible. That's, like, one of my, I don't know if it's a tip, it's more like a trick for myself, because your fingers have oils in them. So if your hair gets super oily really fast, I try to avoid, like, running my hands through it as much as possible. Um, it definitely helps if you like wash your hands and like just dry them and don't put any lotion like when you need to do your hair. But don't forget to put the moisture back into your hands afterwards, but you know. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with my hair. I was actually planning on wearing a hat, but then like the outfit I wanna wear, I don't know that I have a hat for this look. Um, so it's probably just going to be leaving my hair down. I am going to do the same look that I pretty much do every single day. Um, I absolutely love seeing like beauty gurus on YouTube do so many different styles. It's fun like living vicariously through them. Like I've been waiting to use this one for such a long time. Tati's like my favorite beauty guru go-to. I feel like she has some of the best looks and she never does tutorials and I'm like why but um she just oh she's so stunning to me the way that she does like her eye makeup and anyway she loves purple purple is one of her favorite colors and she used this and as soon as I saw her use this I was like oh my god girl I have to get this it's drugstore it's L'Oreal it is what color is this violet luster is the name of this so it's pretty it's not that old. I mean, I think I got this a couple months ago, but anyway, I do really like want to step out, you know, spring and summer. You know what? There's some purple in this shirt. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it today. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So I already have my moisturizer on. I'm just going to throw my hair back so like I don't continue to touch it and mess with it. And then I'll deal with my hair later. This is not a tutorial, so this is just me getting ready. Alexa, play 80s music. Here's a station for 80s music, all 80s, from Amazon Music.
still done with my makeup. My hair is, well, it's whatever today. Um, but I don't know if you can kind of see the purple. It's really subtle. Um, I made the mistake. Okay, so here's what I did. First, I was putting this on just straight brush to product without like any sort of wetness. It was completely dry and it just wasn't showing up that great. And so I went ahead and did my like mascara and I put my bottom mascara on. And then that's when I thought, you know what, why don't I take my uh, Make It Last setting spray, spray it on the brush and then dip it in here and um, or vice versa. I dipped it in the powder first and then sprayed this. And then it was really starting to show up, but it was messing with my mascara. So I think I could have made it look a lot more purple if I would have done this step before the mascara. So now I know for next time, I know far away you can't actually tell, but if you come up close, you can kind of see the hints of purple. So I like that it's subtle enough though for me to like go out and not feel like, you know, I've got bright purple eyeshadow underneath my eyes, but it's enough for me, for me at least, to know that it's purple. So, anyway, okay, so now what I'm going to do is, I don't typically like to put on shoes until I leave the house, so there's no really point in me putting on shoes because I don't know what I'm doing quite yet. I don't know if I'm going to film a video or if I'm going to like go to the mall. Um, I have still been thinking about those sunglasses from Diff Eyewear that I showed you guys when I went um, on my shop with me for my daughter's Easter basket. I've still been thinking about those freaking sunglasses. And um, I really want to get like some basic tops. The only thing is like I want to look for some inspiration on like what kind of outfits I want to put together. So I'm going to spend some time online and like see like what kind of like stuff I actually need to buy because I don't really like know. I do know I need some camis. All of my camis that like I wear, like I have to wear camis. I don't know why. Um, I just feel like it's an extra added layer in case something's see-through because I feel like a lot of stuff that I own is pretty see-through. And all of my camis have holes in them, like all of them. And even when I buy new ones, I won't throw away the ones that have holes in it, which is ridiculous. Because when I was going through my closet, you guys, it looked, I mean, yes, there's a lot in here for sure. The majority of this, I would say 60% I've owned for 10 years and the other 40% is like new within the last two or three years. So, but everything is long sleeves. And then the things that are not long sleeves are more for like work. So like this top, like I'm just not going to wear that on a casual Saturday. I'm just not. Um, I also need to like go through here and do the Kamari method or whatever the method is and like just get rid of stuff I'm just simply not wearing. Now I've done a closet declutter video years ago in my last house and I said, okay, these things are, I'm getting a second chance and so if I don't wear them again, they're going to go. So it's time for me to go back through those things and be like, okay, I just never wore this. So I just don't have like spring summer stuff because I actually like my skin to be covered. I just love being more warm than having like coolness touch my skin, which is really bizarre, but I just do. Like I sleep in sweats and I wish I didn't. I wish that like I could sleep in shorts and like cute little things. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe it's a it's become a habit. Maybe it's not that my skin doesn't like to be exposed. Maybe it's that my skin's not used to being exposed because I've been sleeping in sweats all the time that it's like now it's it's addicted to it, I guess. I don't know. So I need jeans, but today's not a jean buying day just because I'm in the process of dropping a little bit more weight. So I'm not gonna buy jeans until I do that because then I feel like I'm wasting money. So it's pretty much it. Oh, so today um, I am going to wear 
this jean jacket. It's oversized. I love it. It's going to go with this outfit, so it'll look really cute. And it's windy. It's 40-something degrees, so the jean jacket's going to be perfect. I am going to pair those black Converse right here, these, with my outfit, and then it will just be really fun and casual. I hate going to the mall or doing anything in heels. Sometimes it's fun, but some, but 99% of the time, it's not fun. All right, so here is my outfit. Is it a little bit blurry? No. I decided to untuck just because of the size of this particular uh, jacket. Sorry about the blinding light, but when I had it in like this, I don't know, it just kind of looked odd. And I thought it just looked cuter untucked. I've got my, my squad on with my black jeans and my black converse so overall it's a pretty casual outfit so what i've decided to do instead right now and maybe like as the day goes on like i'll change my mind i don't really think i want to go shopping at the mall um but i do have a lot of stuff that i need to take to donate so it's been in my car for weeks now so i'm gonna go there and then i think i might go into the thrift shop and like see what I can find. I know there's one thing I want, which is like an oversized white button-up. Okay, so I've got a pile of stuff. Look, these are some of my favorite boxes too from um, Dollar Tree, but I have extras, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. I've got pajamas, I've got decor, whole thing of planner stuff, so time to donate. Rock the cradle of love. There's plenty here, Spinach. 